Now let us discuss the last type of relationship that is many to many relationship. First of all, let's understand what is the basics of many to many relationship or when there is a need to create a many to many relationship between two objects. So for that, I have taken an example over here that is student and group. So whenever a student uh, like gets enrolled into a particular college or school, there are different different groups into that college or school uh, in which they can get enrolled. So a single student can get enrolled into different different groups and in a single group we can have different different students as well. So this is a kind of, this is basically many to many relationship which we denote using this. Now the question arises that on which object we need to create the foreign key or basically the relationship field because both are many and earlier we have understood in the other videos or in the previous videos that one to, in a one to many relationship you need to create a relationship field on the many side but what happens or uh, like what to do in uh, many to many relationship both are many on which object we need to create the relationship field. So let's see if we'll create the relationship field on the student object then let's see what the problem is. So let's say I have created this relationship field over here and uh, like let's say Paul is in group 2, Mark is also in group 2 and Anthony is in group 3 and Paul is also on group 3 or group 4. Then in that case I again have to rewrite this whole record or this whole row in this table and mention uh, G3 if he's into sports as well over here and this information will be repeated. So again that's data redundancy, repetition of the same data. So we cannot create the field on this object. Now let's see that can we create the relationship field on this group object. If I'll create the relationship over here and let's say In group 1 we have student 1, in group 2 we have student 1 and in group 3 we have student 2 and over here we have student 3. But in group 1 we have student 3 as well. So how to store that in these tables? We can't do that. I mean we'll have to store it like this. G1, music, Judy and rhythm and then we have to write down S2 or S3. Whosoever student is uh, there in the G1 group. So this is again data redundancy which is not allowed or which is not good. So to create a many to many relationship where to create the fields on this object or on this object? The answer is none of them. We need to create another table or another object in order to implement many to many relationship in any database or any relational database or in Salesforce. And when it comes to Salesforce, you need to create another object if you want to implement many to many relationship. Let me help you with that, that how to create the another object and using that how you can implement many to many relationship. So here we are with another table which uh, has two fields. One will store the student ID and the other one will store the group ID. What is the use of it? Let me explain it to you. So this is basically a foreign key and this is the primary key and this is the primary key and this is the foreign key. So to implement many to many relationship in a relational database we create a third table and in that third table we create two foreign keys. One is related to the first object or the first table and the second one is related to the or ref, uh, the second one is referencing the primary key of the second object and the first one is referencing the primary key of the first object or the first table. With the help of this we can simply uh, implement many to many relationship. Let me explain you how. S1 is there in G1. So simply write down S1 and G1. So we know that S1 is in G1. S1 is also in G2. So we know that S1 is enrolled into group 1 as well as group 2. Now let's see that in group 1 we have S3 as well. So group 1 has two students S1 and S3. This is what we want. I mean this is exactly what we want. Many to many relationship established using a third table and in that third table we have two foreign keys which are referring or which are referencing the primary keys of both of these tables. In Salesforce this table is basically called as junction object. 
what this junction object do is this this is simply used to create a many to many relationship between two objects it has two relationship fields one with the one first object and the second one with the second object and the relationship that uh, like happens is like this or the relationship that gets created will be like this so group has a one to many relationship with this student and group table and student also has a one to many relationship with student and group table that means we create the foreign key or the relationship field on the many side object now in this kind of relationship many side is this one with respect to student and many side is this one with respect to group so we'll create two relationship field on a, on an object to implement the mass uh, many to many relationship now i have a simple question for you tell me whether this relationship will be lookup or master detail okay so no matter what your answer is these relationship fields will be master detail and let me explain you why in master detail relationship whenever we delete the one side objects record the associated child objects record or the many side object records also get deleted so let's say if we delete s1 uh, student record or s1 record then in that case both of these records will also get deleted and it makes sense as well that i mean if the students entries are not there and if the students information is not there then what is the i mean what is the use of storing the information of uh, in which group he was enrolled if there is no information of him available in the uh, in the database and it is the same with group and student in group if you delete a particular group what is the use of storing the information that i mean which of the students were enrolled into that particular group because if there is no information of that particular group what is the use of it i mean yeah you, you understand what i'm trying to say hence both of these relationship fields will be master detail and like hence this is the detail object for both of these relationships both of the master detail relationship fields will be created on student and group object and whichever object has two master detail relationship fields onto it will be called as junction object that's it so let's have a quick recap to implement a many to many relationship between two objects we first need to create a third object and onto that third object we need to create two master detail relationship fields which will be related to both of the objects between which we want to create a many to many relationship and the object on which we create two master detail relationship fields is called as junction object now there are some more things that you need to consider with many to many relationships and that are uh primary relationships and secondary relationship so let me give you a brief idea that what primary relationship is and what secondary relationship is when it comes to many to many relationship so whichever field you create first will become the primary relationship or will become the primary relationship field and with which object you create that field will become the primary master object so let's say that you created this field first on the student in group uh, object so in that case student object will be called as primary master object and this relationship will be called as primary relationship whereas if you have created this field first and like this group id field uh, this relationship field first then in that case group will be called as a primary master object and this relationship will be called as a primary master relationship and like if you have created this relationship first and then this relationship then this will be called as a secondary relationship or this object will be called as a secondary master object that's it now there comes a question so in a master detail relationship the owner fields gets derived from the master object now over here this object has two masters so from which object the owner field the owner field will get derived exactly the primary master object that is the reason we have understood the difference between primary master object and the secondary master object and what about the look and feel because detail objects inherit the look and feel of the master object as well that will again be derived from the primary master object and what about the security and sharing settings from which object security and sharing settings will get derived or will be inherited this time you are probably wrong it's not only primary master object it's both of them primary master object as well as secondary master object and that means primary master uh, primary relationship and as well as secondary relationships both control the security and sharing settings of the junction object that's it so let me give you an example to make you understand this 
if you are able to see G1 and you are not able to see S1, you will not be able to see this record. If you are able to see S1 and if you are not able to see G1, you will not be able to see this record. Only if you are able to see both of these records, then only you will be able to see this one. That's it. Now there is an important question that I want to ask you guys. How many relationship fields can we create on an object? Tell me it in two parts. How many Marshall relationship fields can we create on a single object? Or and, oh sorry, and, 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 and. How many lookup relationship fields can we create on a single object? Tell me, write it down on the comments. And the first one who writes it down correct will get a new t-shirt. So write down your answers in the comments and if you like this video or this relationship video series then in that case hit the like button and make sure you are subscribed to the channel and you have hit the bell icon as well and if you are watching this video on LinkedIn or Facebook there is a link down in the description just hit that link go to the YouTube channel hit the subscribe button because you want to learn Salesforce and who else can teach you Salesforce better than Salesforce Hal? Isn't it? Yeah. So see you next time. Bye bye. Take care.